trying to get this job finished up, but we got to do a little few pine around here. And a little bit of hardwood, that's about it. And I think that'll be about, that's about done. Let's see what we're going to do. You want that? No, we're not. You can just put the dough straight to the trail. Airline busted right there. It's just smashed flat and it's not gonna work like that. So I need to even hooked up. Just dangling it loose. The chamber should go back, the rod should go in and reach the brake shoes. 30 30 double, that's a single. That only works with that chamber's only work with yourself on the brake pedal. These work when you pull the red knob out, it locks the brakes up. Listen, the, these rod, the chamber's not going in, so the pocket brake is gonna work. Parking brake has released on the trailer. Now we can adjust the brakes and these brakes will be good. Then what all we have to do is check the other side to make sure they are, they come out when you apply the brakes. Make a quarter turn. Three quarters, that makes it easy. Yeah, I'm not sure what these airlines are for. Don't want to get an actual, but I don't know what it's for. I've never seen that on the trailer before. They can go through the brakes. We'll have to follow it and find out what it goes to. Yeah, we'll change that. I don't know why it's got an airline going to the actual. I just make no damn sense. What did it go to? Yeah, that's what it is. Cause it had one that one too and it broke off. What? I want to say he had a, a tube going outside where it fed the tires and had the tires up and it run over something kept, it would keep the tires up while the trailer was being used. When you get to these two hoses right here? Uh, right here. Huh? Let's take these all the way on. And then once you get that done, the next thing would be to hook the airline to the other side and activate these brake chambers. Let's see if we got enough tube to make it make a new airline. We'll be just enough. We'll make it right there. We'll be close. I think we can make it work. That's wonderful. I just broke off. Right. That's what the connector is, it froze up. Truck's liable to jackknife, trailer's liable to turn over. That air leak's coming from right here at the bottom of that valve. So what's going on here with this valve? This is a pressure release valve down here at the bottom. And it's really nothing but a rubber diaphragm. Uh, over time it can get dry rotted, it can get dirt in it, anything like that. And uh, over time it just wears down. It doesn't work the same, it doesn't close back up like it's supposed to. And when you're trying to build air on the truck or the trailer, uh, 
it causes loss of air and it's just it's not good it won't come loose it's too rusty i gotta break the nut off of it The airline broke off into it and I can't get it out so I'm going to go home to fit me. Let's try a little trick. See if we can get this fit now. Nope, not happening. Ain't coming out. I'm struggling a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna be one of them days. I can see it. I can, I can see it happening. I'm glad you use that vice when you get a chance. Gotta take it fitting out. As you get the new one, and it won't come with it. Then you won't have anything to work with. Oh yeah, you got our big boy. Uh-oh. Uh That's a problem. We got the new lines and uh, go ahead and start putting everything back together and go ahead and get this thing back on the road and everything will be smooth sailing. Probably push the push the boss back over because the boss right here is bent in too far. I don't think that pin's gonna line up. But I guess when the pin came out, they had a load of wooden grapple twisted it. So now we have a problem getting that ball straightened back out to get the pin to it right. So you can get the port power. You take the port power, put it between that boss and that one, and spread it back out. Yeah. Hello. What's happening, man? I mean, I don't know. There's your boat. I don't know what else he gave me. Got your inspection to go to. Yeah. Uh, trailer, come out, Ari. You mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, the boss is bent in. Oh, yeah. It's gonna, we're going to struggle with this, I'm telling you. But I need a I need a skitter operator to work it so I can try to line it back up. Holy sh that's um this one be Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. It's not uh, good. Might, might have to might have to get some heat to it. Yeah, well either put a put a put a power in the inside of it and try to push it push this back out. Yeah. Cause it, I don't know if, we'll try it, but I don't know if the pin's gonna go back in. Alright, um where's Mike at? Alright, the pin's too big. It's the wrong pin. Too big. Huh. Oh, yeah. Where's that thing go? Probably the steering bush. Probably the base. Well, oh, that pin right there. But it ain't going in that hole. What the fuck? Well, you can put your air filter in. Justin, he's got the correct pin down there. This is the one that goes to, with a grapple to attach it to the uh, rotator. Look at how ho ho ho! Oh, 
Well, I'm just exercising, that's all. <laughs> that was supposed to happen. <laughs> Alright, I'll bring it back. Hey, my short thing will be on there Monday for shop. So, I went down to the parts store, uh, the John Deere dealership, actually. Um, I told the guy exactly what pin I needed, what I wanted, where it went on the machine. I guess he was looking at the wrong thing in the book. Um, he's old school, he wasn't using the computer, I don't believe, so. Um, he sent me the wrong pin. I drove about an hour down there and an hour back. Um, so now I gotta go back an hour. Again, you know, it's just setback after setback. and. Not, you don't make too much money like this running running around, you know, I, ain't, I got other stuff to be doing. I ain't got time to be running back, you know, fixing other people's mistakes, unfortunately. Uh, but this is, a again, a costly error. Not too often you come to the John Deere dealership and you leave out of here with uh, money back in your pocket. It was a little cheaper on this pin than the other one. So that's one positive out of this whole deal. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, we're working. Yeah, we in business now. We got the brace size pin. He might need to, that, that bottom one, yeah, if you... Put it out a little more. Just get up a little bit. Turn it, turn it straight. Oh, come on back. You might know it's on here now. Turn it back down. Turn it back down. All right, now pull down one forward. Oh, get, get, get close right down there. Oh, come on. Pull it forward. Get it back up. We'll pass the hole. Huh? Yeah, then we back to skitter up or something. Can this go out? Oh, making it worse. That one. Fold, fold. Back the machine up. No, well, I'm going to pull another Yeah, it yeah, yeah, hooked on the it excavator. Is. And, 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 and then we back? can just move it where we need to. Hold on for one take. There you go. Like you tie it. Like you tie it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's probably, yeah. Yeah, you're onto something on that. All the way, all the way, all the way. Get better. Gotta come back down. Oh, oh no more. Where are you pin at? Right here. I got it. Come on. More. 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 Oh. Get to go. Come on. Give me a big proud about your bumper. Hey. Oh boy. She'll go in there just a minute though. I think you gotta turn that steering wheel just a little bit. He's gotta go back over. All the way a little bit. A little bit more. Raise your boot down a little bit. Oh, oh right there. I don't think we went too far. Hey, too far. Go back up just a little bit. All the way, all the way, all the way. All the way. 
Every time I think it's going. Let's go. This will be probably because the boss is there. Big, get that boss back straight now. It didn't, wow. Well. Oh yeah, we're good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so we came out this evening. Yeah. John Deere, Skitter, the top pin where it pivots on the arch, the pin came out, lost the pin. Called in and got a pin, went and got the pin and got the wrong pin. The pin's too big. Went back, got the right pin. Come back. Finally, we're moving over to Boom enough to get the pin back in and got the bolt back in and everything's good. So while we did it, we checked all the bolts to make sure none of the other pins would come out. So hopefully it will keep running. So this past week, it's it's Friday today, but this past week's been really tough uh, between all the uh, truck issues, um, mechanic bills, uh, guys having doctor's appointments, um, you know, overall it's been a really rough week. Um, this job's been actually really rough. Uh, this week, I, I, it's safe to say I haven't totaled everything up yet, but what I can do in my head, I, I've lost about 15 grand this week um, in, in lost wood hold. Um, you know, now we're on quota. Um, the quota is really killing us right now because all these big logs behind me, it's, it's chipping saw pine. Um, we're actually sending that to a chip mill. They're actually just going to chip it for, for boiler fuel at this point. Because um, I, I, there is good saw timber in that, but I just don't have a market for it right now. My market put me on quota this, you know, Monday or Tuesday of this week. And now, now I'm going to take a price cut of about $7 a ton. Um, so that, that hurts too, but uh, wood stacked up here on his deck, it doesn't pay the bills. It's only when it, when it gets hauled to the mill, that's when, that's when the bills get paid. So uh, a $7 a ton you know, pay cut is, is better than it sitting here and, and drying out because it'll, it'll even itself out. If this stuff dries out you know, in the next month, if, if it takes a month for the market to get back right to where I can get rid of it, it'll dry out just a little bit. Even though we're in winter, we still have warm days, it'll still dry out. And, you know, I'll end up basically losing that $7 a ton one way or the other. So I'd rather just get rid of it now, but it's really a pain because I can only haul two loads of that a day um, starting next week. So, you know, we're probably gonna have to leave some equipment in here to load it up, which that's gonna, you know, be aggravating too, because I'm gonna lose loads. Um, but yeah, hopefully next week will be better. Um, I hope no more trucks are about to turn over out in the road. Uh, I hope I don't see V dot anymore. Um, I hope that next week, you know, we finish up in here and, and we move on to the next track.